Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. go. Flea treatment complete. You've all been very good. Well done. But where on earth is Victoria? That's weird. She was here two minutes ago. Seeing how she hates that flea product, she must be long gone. It's like she has some sixth sense that tells her when to leave at treatment time. We're gonna have to find her. This year the fleas are back with a vengeance. Hmm. <laughs> You are. Yeah, we've been looking everywhere for you. Stop it! Shh! Shut up, Sam! Keep your snout out of it! Oh, darling, look! Fix up there! Get down from there right this minute! treatment for me this year. Hey guys, look, a cat. You know what that means? Party, party, party! Interesting. What's up with Vic? Can't you see? She's dancing! Cool dance routine! <laughs> I reckon she's being bitten alive by fleas. There you go, Vic. You should have played the game and taken your treatment just like everybody else. You're a fine one to speak out. Your costumes protect you from the side effects of that ghastly stuff. Ouch! And they protect you from fleas. Stop! Whoa, well, there you are, Vic. Mm -hmm. This time you're going nowhere. I know it smells bad and it makes your head hurt, but at least the fleas are going to leave you alone. Get the shelter! Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. Who's up for a game of forest ball? Yeah! Yeah! Count me out this time. Go long, Sam! <laughs> are enjoying themselves as much on the other double fur animals. We have a problem. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not scratch in front of them. Otherwise, zip, we'll be up in front of the vet in no time. What if the vet examines us and discovers we're wild animals? I don't want to go back to the forest. There we go. We're off for a weekend in the wild. Be good, little angels. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, what did I do with my sunglasses? Oh, here they are. All right, honey, I got the roadmap. 
And the donkey. Stop, stop, silly of me. What's happened to them? Do you reckon they have fleas? Hmm. But the treatment works perfectly. Victoria's fine. I'll call up the vet anyway. I'll make an appointment for tomorrow morning when we get back. What a nightmare! <laughs> we cannot let that vet examine us. We have to come up with some solution to get rid of these fleas. No, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Where? That's what we're gonna find out. <laughs> what an awesome party! Yeah, whoever organized this is a genius. Yes. Does it work? Right. We're gonna have to find some other idea. <laughs> Well, well, what a cute little dance routine you got there. This is not the time, Vic. If we don't ditch these fleas before the living stones get back, we're done for. Yeah, but Vic, what can we do to get rid of them? <laughs> to do that, you'll have to find them a better place to live. Like a mansion with a mud jacuzzi? No, another animal. But don't worry, there must be hundreds of untreated pets around here. Hey! Vic, you're a genius! <sighs> but why do I have to do this first? That's the way it is. We drew lots. Trust me on this. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> hmm? What's up, Sam? Lost your way to your comfy sofa? Hey, thing. Hey, I was looking for you with my buddies. We just wanted to say that... That what? That you're an awesome neighbor. We all wanted to give you a big hug to say thanks. Uh? <laughs> yeah, what's that smell? Wait, I'll go see. I don't know what it is. It looks like a trash can with fur. Nothing compared to our double fur penthouse suite here. What's wrong with you? I mean, what have those guys been putting in your food lately? To think I'm the one everyone calls wild around here. They're really clinging on. I don't think we have many options left. Who needs the vet? We get our hands on the flea treatment and blam! A quick dose on our real fur and problem solved. You ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Oops. Be careful, Sam. Believe it, what kind of vet is this guy? There's everything but meds here. Limited weight, 59 pounds or 13 ounces. Oh no, Sam! 59 pounds and 13 ounces? That's impossible, Wash. The guy inside that thing is lying. Uh, the animals! <laughs> Calm down. Did you hear that? Sounds like there are thousands of animals out there. All with nice warm fur. And it sure smells good. Maybe it's time to throw the party of the century. Yay! Move it out. Thanks. You can sleep easy now. Come on, let's go look for our treatment. Noise. You heard it, right? <gasps> it's the vet. Quick, let's get out of here. What about the flea treatment? I'd much rather live in a cold forest with fleas than get caught hanging around here. Let's go. Oh, what are the... Do something! Look at them, Vladimir! I shall never forget you, you little marvel of technology, you. What are you doing? Farewell, Sofa! Farewell, TV! Farewell, lovely home! Thank you for all the good times we had! We're home! We came 
came as quickly as we could. Oh, poor little honeys. Looks like they're at their wit's end. The vet will be here any minute. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, good day. So, where are the patients? I can't take it anymore. It has to stop. This torture has to end. What torture? You stopped scratching. Yeah, you're right. But that means the fleas must have gone. At last, someone with a brain cell. But how come I didn't notice? I have good news and bad news. The bad news is my clinic suffered a flea invasion last night and I don't have the usual product in stock. Yeah. But the good news is we get to try out a totally new treatment that's even more powerful. Yeah. Uh, right. The only complicated thing about this product is that it has to be swallowed. Yasum! It's breakfast time! I say, your animals sure are cooperative. Hang on, where's the other cat? <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. It's a good thing we got away with it this time. I hate swallowing tablets! Hey, I wonder what did happen to our fleas? Hey, it's you, Hadley. How's it going, buddy? Cool place here, huh? Huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yes, I love you, Vanessa, but I must leave you. Hey! <laughs> hey, Vic! 
Click, you know your favorite show is on TV. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Wash. I'll watch it when I get my toy back. And your game is called That Toy Is Mine! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my quick setting cement litter bit? <laughs> Driving them both nuts. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. This morning. Good thing everybody is all snug and warm inside. Huh? <laughs> Victoria! Oh, my poor little Vic! Meow. You spent the whole night outside? Meow. 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 This time you went too far, Sam! with my toy. That was dumb. Shall we make up? Okay, Sam. You win. It's all yours. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> but if you were a real cat, you would know that real cats never give up. <laughs> uh, okay, Vic. <laughs> come back in for a snack. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Sam, what are you doing there? I'm hiding. I can't leave the room. Hiding? But hiding from what? Where's your disguise? It disappeared. Help. Hmm. But we can still see her behind. <laughs> That's what happens when you cross me. I'll give Sam back his costume, but under one condition. Which is? That Sam agrees to let me keep the acorn forever. Do whatever you want, Vic, but hurry up! Follow me. <laughs> the costume is under there. <laughs> no, it's not! Hmm. Unless I hit it behind the TV. We've 
turn the whole house upside down and still no costume. All right, so at least we know it's not in the house, which limits our possibilities to... The rest of the world? Shall we have a cup of tea in our room? Oh, this doesn't look good. Am mind telling us what you're doing under there, Sam? Uh-oh. Hey, come on, you big oaf, you. What's wrong with him? He seems frightened of something. If I have to take apart the entire bed to save our darling Sam, well, then I will. Well said, darling. Let's quickly go get your toolbox. Um, we seem to have a bit of a problem. Hold on a sec, guys. No time for small talk, Eugenie. We've got a costume to find. Sam, whatever you do, stay here. It's all over for me, Wash. You guys have done your best, but I've come to the end of the line. Please, take care of Eugenie, my dear little sister. I'll never forget any of you. Never, ever. Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. That's nothing. This time, the pyramid! <laughs> we look so well rehearsed. Great trick and a treat. Easy. They remember everything. But you should see Washington do this. He's by far the best of the four of them. Hey, what about me? Say, where is Washington? <sighs> oh. I answer number three, a cup of hot chocolate. Yeah, my little wash. Uh -huh. Time for the quick fire question round. What insect produces honey? One, flies, two, bees, three, ants. Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy the show's still going. That presenter must be 150 years old by now at least. Look at Washington. He's answering the questions. Look at his tail. Who invented the famous formula E equals MC squared? One, Einstein. Two, Heidi. Three, Eisenhower. <gasps> wow! Our dog is a genius! I found my special edition of the best Quizmaster questions ever. So, how long is an Olympic swimming pool? One, 50 meters. Two, 164 feet. Three, 
5,000 centimeters. What are they doing to me? Don't worry. Same game, different day. Do what they want and the kibble is yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, huh? no. For a moment, he was amazing. Now he's getting the answers all wrong. Not at all, honey. He sidestepped their trap. All three answers were correct. Well done, Washington. Incredible. Ah. Oh. What a clever boy you are, Wash. How come you know all that? TV! He loves the documentary and education channel. This is not looking good. Aren't you the one who always says you've got to keep your heads down, not draw attention to the animal inside? Of course not. It's just a harmless little game. How's it going to draw attention to us? That's mm -hmm. right. I want to sign my dog up for the Quiz Master Challenge. His name's Washington. W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. <laughs> there they are! He's gonna be full of himself. In today's show, we have a very special contestant, Washington the dog. Let me remind everybody of today's special rules adapted for our new furry competitor. Washington will answer questions by wagging his tail one, two, or three times. And we're off. Washington, who is Sherlock Holmes' companion? One, Dr. Radcliffe. Two, Dr. Watson. Three, Dr. Groove. Next question. Which pyramid is the biggest? One, the Pyramid of Maidum. Two, the Pyramid of Calf. Three, the Pyramid of Chaos. Come on, come on, come on. The score is going through the roof. We have a winner. <laughs> this is incredible. Meet Washington the Wonder Dog with a wonder brain. Ladies and gentlemen, this dog has just broken the show's record. <laughs> wow! I have to admit, the boy did good. The next stage will be the grand finale against the grand quiz master champion of all time, Mr. Pullface. Who will be the winner? Come what may, it promises to be a phenomenal battle. That's right. The grand finale is tomorrow morning. We're very confident, aren't we, Wash? Well done, Wash. I've always said that dog is as cunning as a fox. Isn't he laying it on a bit thick? <laughs> You can say that again. And he's getting all that kibble and not sharing a single one. So, Vic, gonna congratulate me? I had it all under control and incognito. <laughs> uh, Mr. Livingstone, Washington's rival in the final, Mr. Pofay says the show's been rigged. What do you have to say to his accusations? What? Take a look for yourself. The whole thing's a masquerade, and I'm going to prove it. In the freak event that Silly Hound does beat me, I have the organizer's permission to get its so-called intelligence tested live and direct by the renowned vet, Vladimir Vedovic. Wash would be delighted to cooperate. Tests, after all, are his specialty. Personally, I can't wait to find out Wash's IQ. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. Now this is getting interesting. What does he mean, silly hound? Me and my so-called intelligence are deeply hurt. If I understand correctly, if you do win this final wash, you're gonna be probed and examined from every angle. And us wild guys, we're not so fond of that idea. Good heavens. This here is no wonder, dog. It is a fox. Oh, no! <laughs> you gotta stop being so intelligent, Wash. Huh? Listen, Wash, it's simple. You have to lose. Yes, or else it's straight back to the forest for us all. Farewell, glory. Farewell, intelligence. The world will have to be deprived of my prodigious talent. So tell me, what do I have to do to be dumb? Hmm? Sam, Eugenie, Susie, Vic, any idea? Count me out. Mm -hmm. Is it that hard to try to get the answers wrong deliberately? Right, I'll try a different question. This time, it's really easy. Remember, Wash, you have to get it wrong, okay? Wash, how many dwarves live with Snow White? Seven. <laughs> no, I just can't help it. Wash, you're too intelligent for your own good. We don't have a choice. It's time to become genuinely stupid. Hmm, that's given me a brilliant idea. What we could do... Stop with your brilliant ideas. Why don't you think like me? It's really easy. All I do is don't think. I never thought I'd say this, but Wash's intelligence is going to be our downfall. Super sour candy stings my tongue so much my brain shuts down. So, Wash, has it worked? No, it just stings like uh, crazy. 
how they do it? Oh, yeah, uh, yes, I do. It's the tartaric acid they use, isn't it? Tartamic what? Uh... <laughs> now we're gonna brainwash you and replace your knowledge with completely useless information. Uh, what do you see here? Uh, uh, yeah, a car? No, it's a flower! A flower that looks like a car? Let's start all over again. <laughs> How about this? A postage stamp. Good day to you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this historic program, Washington versus Mr. Poveys. I'm scared. Don't worry, it'll all go super well. Go on, Washington, give it your best shot. Uh, I mean, your worst shot. <laughs> Washington will get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who painted the Mona Lisa? One, Leonardo da Vinci. Two, Leonardo DiCaprio. Three, Leonard the Lion. Mm -hmm. Wow, Leonardo da Vinci. He totally got that wrong. Uh, not that wrong, in fact. It's pretty right. Three, the Mississippi. <laughs> Zero errors. Your opponent has his work cut out for him. And here he is. It's time for Mr. Poface. Wasn't the plan to get the answers wrong? The device scans animals and searches their brain, seeking out every scrap of information inside. Nothing escapes detection. Well done, Mr. Poface. Another flawless round. You might not have been as quick fire as your opponent, but only the score counts. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I don't know what's going on. I can see the wrong answer, but my tail won't respond. It's like it has an intelligence of its own. Time for the big decider. Get ready, competitors. Here we go. Can you tell me the exact number of teeth to be found in the mouth of the Volupus Volupus, a.k.a. the Red Fox? Uh, 29, 30, 31... Uh, uh, 34! Uh, 32! Washington, that is incredible! Time to drop the act. Stop this masquerade. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see now, this. Now, just how does this work? Oh, well, I guess it's plugged in. Should we be worried that they're not his real ears? Shh. This animal is absolutely not gifted in any way. I regret to tell you that there is absolutely zero brain activity zero. present. Huh? It is a mystery how he manages to put one leg in front of the other. As a result, I invalidate the results of this competition. What a phenomenal turnaround! I hereby crown Mr. Poface as our new champion! <laughs> really? Washington isn't gifted after all? You know, we are dealing with statistics. Global warming, in my opinion. Its casualties are simply a coda appendage reflex mm -hmm. reaction. The information transmitted by Washington's eyes, ears, or nose bypasses the brain, and so its flow continues uninterrupted directly to the tail in the form of a jolt of nervous energy, giving rise to erratic movements, which in certain contexts and scenarios may seem to have significance. In a word, his tail probably just wags on its own, and there's nothing he can do about it. For once, the guy is actually right! <laughs> <laughs> you know, Wash, it doesn't matter if you're intelligent or not. We still love you very much. Yeah, we love you very much, too, even if you are lame. <sighs> Our question of the day, what is the square root of nine? Tweet, tweet, tweet! The right answer is three! <gasps> hey, did you hear that? Okay. Susie chirp three times. <laughs> Quick, where's my telephone? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's up, Wash? Aren't you having breakfast with us? Oh, I didn't sleep a wink last night. Yeah? Hey! Whoa! Ever thought of packing on a beauty mask? Or at least a little facial scrub? Yeah! A mud mask will do miracles! Enough already! I think someone is spying on us. Oh, yeah? Why? I don't know. Maybe someone who knows we're not who we pretend to be and who's gonna blackmail us or worse, <laughs> denounce us to the animal pound! Talk about paranoia. I always thought you watched too many spy films. A fox's nose is never, ever wrong. Honey, it's a done deal. The new neighbor has agreed. Super! That granny cupcake is such a sweetie. <sighs> and here we go again. What? Oh, no! It all makes sense now. You guys still don't get it. The Living Stones are undercover spies. They've just been contacted for a mission. Oh, no! Oh, that's ridiculous. They're only leaving for the weekend, and someone is going to look after us. It's just our new neighbor, Granny Cupcake. Oh, hello there, my little friends. I've heard so much about you. Boy, she looks shady. Oh, please. She's just a sweet old lady, and you've been watching too many movies, Wash. I brought you treats! Whoa. You're going to be in excellent hands. No, don't leave. We're in danger. <laughs> you see, Wash, there was nothing to worry about. We've never been so spoiled. I swear she's hiding something, believe me. Let's go rummage through her stuff. <sighs> Listen, Wash, I've had it up to my whiskers. I'd rather take another nap than continue listening to you spouting garbage. Uh, Granny Cupcake is trying to divide the ranks. That's so she can chew, Wash, and enjoy. Well, if that's how it is, I'm gonna rummage through her stuff on my own. <clears throat> She has to be hiding something. Ah! All right. Now that everyone is awake, everybody get inside on the double. Ah! I told you she was shady. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am the only Lieutenant General authorized. Or, if you prefer, O-L-G-A, Olga. And don't pretend you don't know what I'm saying because I know you know. <laughs> Excellent. So, I am a secret agent specialized in the art of disguise. Just see for yourself. Now, as you are going to see, I have been spying on you for quite some time. And I know everything! Oh, we're as good as back in the forest, guys! Mm -hmm. Under no circumstance do I want to send you back to the forest. 
What? She understands what we're saying? Yes, I do. I graduated summa cum laude in animal language, which makes it practical for recruiting you. Recruiting us? To do what? We have noticed your ability to pass yourselves off as pets and infiltrate this human household. You have shown great potential for becoming animal spies. Animal spies? Household pets make for awesome spies. Indeed, who would ever suspect them? No one, especially if they don't talk. Whoa! A whole new life awaits you, my future comrades! <laughs> Some vitamin powered kibble, courtesy of the government. <laughs> you are going to need to be in tip top shape before your mission begins. Can you believe it? We are secret agents! I've never eaten such delicious kibble. It's pretty cool living off the government, huh? Uh, what exactly is the government anyway? Washington, what a surprise! <laughs> Sweet dreams, buddy! Finally, I'll be able to put all of my talents to work. Physical and mental. This is the dream of a lifetime. Boy, we're going to have fun! Yeah, it's as if we were all going on vacation together! Oh, yeah! Well then, uh, what should I pack? Hmm, this one is bigger, but I prefer the color of this one. This one. This one, and no, no, not that one. This one. But you don't even know how to read, Wash. Yeah, well, that never stopped me from appreciating great literature. Ah, I found Victoria in the laundry room. It's just awful. She is. She has to sleep. Cats are in. Fascinating creatures. I have never, ever seen anyone nap so soundly. Yep. <laughs> and she won't be waking up anytime soon. I gave her a tranquilizer that would knock out a blue whale. But, but that's horrible. horrible! Victoria! Now just calm down and march back to the living room. Someone is going to be picking you up very soon. There can't be any witnesses. <laughs> without saying goodbye to Victoria. Silence! You are going to have to learn to shut up and listen. What in the world is that mess in that suitcase? You are forbidden to have any of your old belongings in your new life. This is how you are going to be traveling. I'll send you to headquarters. There, you'll receive your equipment and be sent to your new assignments. North Pole for Sam. But it's cold up there. The Amazon for Susie. But I'll get swallowed whole by a giant snake. Australia for Eugenie. But I'm allergic to kangaroos. And finally, England for Washington. Oh, no. It rains there all the time. I hate the rain. But this means that we're not leaving together. We're going to be separated. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Olga, for having thought of us for such a prestigious job, but uh, it's just not our style. Hey there. Not so fast, little guy. If you don't want to go on your missions, I shall be obliged to reveal your true identity. <laughs> so what is it? Mission or animal pound? Oh, no, not the pound! Well, then, let's get a move on. <laughs> I am so happy to see that you are being reasonable. Listen, I've got a plan. We warn the mailman once we're in the van, okay? Great idea! Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This box is totally soundproof, thanks to soundproofing material that interestingly enough smells like cupcakes. <laughs> but I'm getting off topic. What you must remember is that no one will be able to hear you scream. Yep. 
or trapped like a bunch of rats. Yee! What's that noise? Hey there, gang. Did you miss me? How did you do that, Vic? What about that whale tranquilizer? The old pill in the cat food trick? Ha, <laughs> what an amateur. I knew the old lady had a trick up her sleeve, so I pretended to be asleep in order to jump in at the right moment. Wow! Thanks a ton, Vic. I just love cupcakes. Ha! Huh? Ah, the mailman! Hmm. Hey, 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 cupcakes! Oh, just look at that. How cute they are. We'll be there in just a sec, darlings. <laughs> Frankly, Victoria, if there's one of us who deserves to be a spy, it's you. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing, Singing in, in the, the Shower, shower. The, the show that gets, gets your morning rocking. And with no further ado, <laughs> let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom. <laughs> Wouldn't drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? <laughs> First of all, we know how to sing. That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off. Way, way, way off. And too loud, so... Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in Dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good dog. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest! Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Oh, what is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is cold. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey, I always knew 
Susie was talented. <laughs> what do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it. And don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. And every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm gonna be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Livingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? No! That's a lion! I can't believe it, Wash! Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play! Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that! And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in! Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no, I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on! A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no, your genie. And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest. How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant? What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! You genie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! 
What a joke. That song was pre-recorded. Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified. Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin. The jury is getting impatient. So cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary. But what in the world is this bizarre specimen? Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey, why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. Uh, are you sure? It's our only chance. Susie's not a real canary. What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be! Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin! Can you believe that? I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, uh, human, you know? Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fugue in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hello, fave toy, we're rockin'. Sentimental Hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Welcome to my new edition of Kibble Run. Open to all the animals in disguise on the block. The first one will win the Kibble Cup. Yay! <laughs> and may the best beast win. Okay, guys, ready? Wow, good one, Sam. You almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. Uh -huh. <laughs> a real cat? Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in the sky. <laughs> what is that thing? Wow! <laughs> Cats just love that stuff. Give me that right now, you fucking warthog, you. What's going into him? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. 
be staying. Hope so. Yes, he <laughs> so. And I've got lots of yummy Sammy Kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Look. You deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. You just look at that. How could I possibly resist? Come here, you. Mm. Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, come. Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right. So enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam. Uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat that in that. That's not cat in that. Meow! That's not cat. I am a real cat. That's it. We're gonna have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent series. What emotion. What a joy. Oh, I love this series. Say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boar. Enjoy, Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. Hmm? What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. King kibble. Yeah. <laughs> You're sick. Sam? You're not a cat, you're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest! <laughs> what kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, keep them to yourself! This isn't gonna be easy. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. Hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Huh? are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously cool. Thanks, Victoria. Yay! What's that? Yeah. Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad at all. You think there are any left? Don't move. I'll go look. It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become insufferable. <gasps> of course. That's it. Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore. Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Yeah, how would you know that? <laughs> okay, in Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. Un. Unbelievable! And do you have any idea where he is? Hmm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy! Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside! Take your time! <sighs> and then he says to me, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe it? <laughs> he called me a wild boar! Sam, <laughs> mind coming over here for a sec? Just a minute, girls. Sam, chill <laughs> out, okay? They're not your friends. You've got to come home right this second. Buzz off, stinking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. Hold that! They kill me right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. <sighs> No way. He's just too weird. He says we're all wild. So we come from the forest, you know. Complete nonsense. From where? The forest? You're wild? Oh, no. Yeah, but he's all 
Chloe saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. <laughs> My best friend is gonna tell the neighbors everything and we're gonna have to return to the forest. Out of the question. He's gotta get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've gotta help us save Sam. And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! no not the, the forest! forest not, not the forest! <sighs> All right, I'll help you. <laughs> yes! 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 Hey! Calm down now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you, uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha! Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're gonna reenact the race just like it happened. Make the quick of the sewer dive. Is this a joke or what? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. And so then I tell hey, him, yeah. Mind coming over here for a sec? Coming. I'll be right back. Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Kibble Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you? Ha! A sin! Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah. Ta -da! Ah! It's even worse than I thought! I can go to the group right now! Oh no, my costume! We've got to stop him! The way a doggy took off his dog fur and he's got rabbit ears! <laughs> yeah? Where'd he go? And we really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. No, we've still got a chance. No! The day Wash is back. Hurry up, he's super heavy. Sam, look in the mirror. Here I am, girls. Well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar, a wild yeah. boar. We've got to be fast, girls. Mr. Livingstone is coming. Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we missed you a ton. Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Now 
more bark worth a hoot after all this time. How ridiculous is that? Greasy Appleseed? See that, Wash? It's a present for us. Uh, no, wrong address. It's the house just next door. Oh, I'm sure that was a box full of kibble, and Gracie will never share them with us. Uh, Sam, humans don't eat kibble. Humans maybe not, but kids do. They eat them for breakfast with milk. I saw it on TV. Sam, I'll bet you a whole roasted chicken that's not kibble. Ah. <laughs> you know what? It wasn't kibble. I didn't think that I just lost a roasted chicken. Boy, this day is off to a bad start. No, Sam. Now that Alfie and Gracie have a tablet, they're gonna spend all their time on it. Meaning, they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Animal. Hamsterus stupidicus. Health. Good. Intelligence, very limited. Wow! Did you see that, Alfie? With this hair test, I'm gonna be able to find out everything about all the animals in the neighborhood! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, huh? Vincent isn't very sharp. Right, Wash? Wash? Come on! We'll do a test on Fat Cat! Where do you see a fat cat? That's you, Sam! Run! <laughs> Come here, kitty cat! Come here! Cats know how to climb trees, and I am a real cat! You are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. If Gracie and Alfie run their test on us, our goose is cooked. Goose? You mean we'll get fried goose? <sighs> no, Sam. It's just an expression. We're the geese. That hair test will know that the hair from our costumes is fake, and Alfie and Gracie will unmask us. Oh, that's no fun. What are we going to do inside? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sam! Hey, move, Sam! We can't see anything! Sorry, but I really, really have to go eat something. Hey, look! Now the screen is super clean! But I'm starving! Absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. Unless, of course, it's in order to save a roasted chicken in distress. Ta -da! Welcome back, kitty. <laughs> Sam, check it out. It looks like Vic dressed as a granny. <laughs> Sam, Sammy. Oh. <laughs> Error, unknown species. Error, unknown Maybe species. it's a species that hasn't been discovered yet. You will be put in touch with a specialist. Please hold the line. <laughs> it's irresistible, isn't it? <laughs> Can you please come? We've discovered an unknown species of an animal thanks to our hair test. Why not a unicorn? Listen, I don't have time for childish behavior. 
I told you, teaming up with that toy company was a stupid idea. Wait a second! Unknown species. <laughs> Unknown species. Just think about it, Vladimir. This is a chance of a lifetime for you to win the Nobel Prize for Veterinarians! So, come now. You can't be serious, Velma. What if this species is dangerous? But just imagine a new species carrying your name. The Vladimirius Quadrupedus Rex. You'll be famous throughout the world. Go on, Vladimir. This is your chance to prove your genius. Maintain the specimen in captivity. I'm on my way. Sam's <laughs> been captured. The veterinarian is on his way to examine him. Ah, Sam's going to be sent back to the forest? Not if we work as a team. I've got an unbeatable plan. You stall the vet while I go ask a favor from Vic. Something she'll never be able to refuse. No. Oh, you're joking. Why, I thought that... No <laughs> means no. But but I just need a few of your hairs to replace those of Sam's for the hair test to make the vet believe Sam's a real cat. Sorry, I just hate it when my hair gets pulled out. Forget it. Find yourself another plan. But I don't have another plan. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Is that dog on crazy or what? That's quite enough, Vladimir. Stop behaving like a child. You're being ridiculous. I assure you, Velma, this door has a bad case of the flu. Do you think the vet has given up? For sure. We're way too strong for him. Maybe he'll never ever dare to go outside again. Gracie, what do you do with an unknown animal species? Well, you put them in cages and run scientific experiments on them. And then you open them up to see what they're made of inside. Hey, Sam! Vic told me that humans just can't resist a cat that purrs, and then the cat can do whatever it wants. Do you know how to purr? You're joking, I hope. That's my specialty. Purr! Purr! Two one-way signs? This city has gone completely mad! We did it! He stopped! You made it! Yes! It may be one way the wrong way going forward, but not backwards! <laughs> Unknown animal no. sound. Try again. Awesome! It's got a voice recognition app, too! Forget the purring, Sam! Just try meowing! If the hair test recognizes your meow, you'll be identified as a cat! Meow! Meow! Unknown and aggressive <sighs> roar. Unidentified and dangerous species. Reinforced security required. <laughs> Yes. <sighs> no, I said yes, meaning that yes, I know that Wash's unbeatable plan did not work. Did you seriously think huh? I was going to tear out my hair to make him happy? But then the veterinarian is going to realize that Sam is not a real cat. And he'll want to run the test on us, too. And we'll all be sent back to the forest. OK, all right, I'll help you. But there is no way you're pulling one single hair out of me, okay? Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Coming! <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'm gonna find a solution. All we have to do is, uh... Here, put this in the hair test. Vic, you... you... you pulled out your hair for Sam? Are you nuts? But that's the Livingstone's cat! It's not a cat! Look at the hair test results! Unknown, unclassified species of feline, humanoid, lupus canny, reptili. Uh. Error, huh? error, error, error. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Whose idea was to invent such a silly toy? Nothing compared to the expert opinion of an expert. Mm. 
my conclusion is definitive. This poor beast is nothing but an ordinary cat that you have traumatized. Oh, but don't worry, he'll get over it. This game really stinks. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you, Dick. Being a cat myself, I know how difficult it must have been for you to tear out some of your hair for... I didn't tear out any hair. I got them out of the vacuum cleaner. But it seems there was a wide variety of hair in there. Not bad. Which just means that maybe you and I should collaborate more often, Vic. Only in your dreams, Wash. Error. Unknown species. Unknown species. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's not a game. The Livingstones are getting ready for Auntie Rachel to visit. Auntie Rachel? What's that? Auntie Rachels are a subspecies of humans who are a pain in the rear because they can't stand cats. <laughs> and dogs? Do they like dogs? <laughs> dogs? Seriously, Wash? Does anyone actually like dogs? Hey. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Try and hang in there. It's only for a few days. I'm gonna prove to you that everybody loves dogs, Vic. Let the boss man do his shtick. <laughs> this should be a gas. Hey, Wash! Wash! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Washington! Dog, leave Auntie alone. Oh, now who is this splendid little creature? Mm. Oh no, my favorite pillow! No way is she Sit going to down here, my little BB. Oh, I can't watch this. What a priceless treasure! The spitting image of Apricot, my darling BB, when I was a little girl. Well, this one's our Washington. Sugar Auntie. Sugar, sugar, BB. Isn't that yummy, little BB? That was a good idea to get rid of that horrible critter you used to have. Boy, did she ever stink. Uh, what critter? Uh, Victoria? Uh, but we still have her, Auntie. In fact, I'll be honest, the family has gotten much bigger. Hey there, darlings. Come say hello to Auntie Rachel. Hey, you! Get lost, you disgusting creature, you! Show! Show! Ooh, that Auntie's off her rocker! So you've got yourself three new stink balls? One wasn't enough? Sam, girls, go into the kitchen. We'll introduce you later, okay? Take a look at Auntie's BB, heavyweight champion of the world! Hey, I win some sugar sugars too! BB! Ah, when I hear the word sugar sugar, sorry guys, duty call! No, it's not fair! And all that because he's wearing a BB costume and we're not! Ah, uh, come on, quit sulking! Let's go play hide and go pig! Great idea! But it's Wash's turn to play wolf! Don't worry, we'll go get him! Last one there's a stink Hey, what? You gotta come play hide and go pick with us? Oh, sure. And it's my turn to play the wolf. Uh, 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 baby. You're not playing.
playing with those ugly little stink balls. Shoo! Shoo! Out of here! No way is she going to stop us from playing hide and go pig with Wash. Is everything okay, Auntie? Things couldn't be worse. Those stink balls of yours are bothering my baby and me. We're going for a walk. Yeah? Uh, very well. Uh, have a nice walk? Have a nice walk? And where, pray tell, is the stroller? The... the... stroller? Well, of course! You don't think Beepy's going to walk on all fours, do you? And bring me his coat, too, please. <laughs> Washington? Washington? <laughs> you going to a costume party? Because I have never seen such a stuff. Whoa, check out Mommy's darling little doggy. Hey, sweetheart. You want to make some room in your taxi for us? <laughs> <laughs> Shiggy Galore is singing color. Sir Wash is leading the high life. He just doesn't have time to play hide and go pig with his friends anymore. He's got no choice, Sam. If we could only somehow console him. I've got an idea. Just make sure you're ready, okay? I've seen better days. Better? You've got a musical collar, sugar, sugar galore. Go for a stroll in a stroller. You're a star, buddy, a star. What more do you want? A mountain of sausages? You just don't understand, Sam. We dreamed of all that, sure, but with Auntie Rachel, it's not a dream. It's a nightmare. I'd rather go back and live in the forest. Hey, cheer up. It'll be over soon. Auntie will leave and everything will go back to normal. Oh, what a patch! Yeah. If she thinks for one second she can fool Auntie Rachel, she's the dumbest bird I've ever seen. The first boat out of here tomorrow morning. We? You got it. Bibby and me. I'm certainly not leaving him in this circus with a bunch of thieves and stink balls. Certainly not, Auntie. Washington is part of our family. Very well, then. I'll just have to move in here. I'll have my mail forwarded tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, you're right. It's going to be hard for us, but we really can't deprive Washington of a dream life with you. Go on. rather go back and live in the forest than with that crazy old bat? I don't believe it. He really left? Oh, poor Wash. We have to go find him. <gasps> We've got to first get rid of Auntie, otherwise Wash will never want to come home. But Auntie will never leave without her BB. If you're in 
interested, I've got an idea. It's not like I really want to see Washington return to the house, but if it might help me get my favorite pillow back. Bambi has disappeared, and I won't leave without him. Baby, our boat is set to sail. Boy, is it ever hot. How about some fresh air, baby? Wash! Washington! Wash! Is that really you? I didn't eat you after all. Annie is going away. You can come back home now. Great! Where's my costume? Yeah, well, um, we should have it any minute now. Don't worry, we got everything totally under control. I heard that now they make diet kibble for cats. Do you really, really want me to get Wash's costume for you? Washington. We just dropped him like an old sock. We really are bad masters. Whoa. Whoa. Washington? Good dog! You came home. Oh no! But then Andy's going to come back too! Mm -hmm. Here we are, baby! All we've got now is home, baby! Baby! <laughs> Honey, we got a card from Annie Rachel. And keep wash, she says. She has just adopted an ostrich who reminds her of Cherry, the ostrich she had when she was a little girl. See, Wash, but if she comes back one day. Yes, yeah, Sam, promise. You can still keep the collar. <laughs> oh, no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So cute. You know, sometimes I wish I could grab onto a kite and go floating in the sky. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? You hurt it all? No, I'm all right. You're all fried, more like. Never fear, little sis. Sam the firefighter is here. <laughs> Was that lightning? That didn't come from the sky. That was Eugenie. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Eugenie still has all that electricity from the cloud inside her. She'll get over it. What a shame. I always dreamed of having superpowers. Uh, say, guys, I think it's time to get inside. <laughs> Eugenie, whatever happened to you, I don't want to know. All I want right now is for you to steer clear away from me, okay? Whoa. What a killjoy. A bulb blows for no reason? Our hair stands on end? The TV goes haywire? We must have a polterbeast! A polterbeast? You mean poltergeist? Yeah. A spooky ghost thing? That's right! Lock all the doors! Turn off the lights! Call the science police! I want every test possible! Honey, look! The TV is working again! Uh -oh. <laughs> That's weird! It's like 
like it's coming from you, Jeedy. Time for a visit to the vet, maybe, don't you think? When their program ends and they see Eugenie is still electric, the Living Stones are bound to take Eugenie to the vets. We have to find some way of de-electrifying her. I got an idea. Seeing as you're the smartest guy here, maybe you can find a solution, yeah? <laughs> Guess what, Sam? The solution's already in the bag. What is it? What is it? This is gonna be fun. The electricity in Eugenie's body comes from the sky. On that, we agree. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it arrived in her body via the kite line. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, if we want to cure Eugenie, the electricity has to go back the way it came. So, how are we going to do that? Kite again so that the electricity zaps straight back up the line and into the sky. Well done, Susie. Wash, you're a genius. Oh, come on. Not only will that plan never work, but what's more, it's plain dangerous. Eugenie is more likely to get zapped by lightning like she did last time. Why? Well, you know, nature? You know nothing, Victoria. Don't listen to her, girls. Ms. Know-It-All here was just trying to show off. <laughs> yeah, if you believe Ms. Know-It-All, the girls aren't even allowed to fly kites because kite flying is too dangerous. <laughs> I cannot advise you strongly enough not to listen to that silly fox and your knucklehead brother, Eugenie. But Vic, do you have a better solution? Uh, no. <laughs> Higher, Eugenie! It has to hit a cloud! That way the electricity can... Pity we can't say the same about you. What? That I'm a lightning bug? No, glowing and bright. No need to panic. It's just a side effect. It was all part of the plan. You'll soon switch off, Eugenie. However, we do have to make sure that the Living Stones don't see you like that. This time it's an emergency. Pulling out, let's go. <laughs> was the visit to the vet part of your plan too, Wash? Zeus, go look in the window. See if my strategy's going as planned. As planned? And what exactly did you plan? Well, I was hoping that everything would turn out fine. What is that glowing object doing in my clinic? Think I'm some kind of electrician or what? It's a rabbit, Vladimir. A rabbit who was afflicted with a rare disease. If you manage to cure it, expect glory and the Nobel Prize, no doubt. Uh -huh. A very interesting case of acute rabbit lapis radiatus. Is it serious, Doc? How should I know? I've never heard of the disease until I saw this rabbit. But do you think you can do something? If it was a living room lamp, I could unplug it or remove the batteries. But here, what we have before us is a rabbit, do we not? Leave this with me. I shall keep her under observation overnight. I will see what I can do. Your plan is not working out as you expected, Wash. He's going to keep her overnight. But that's perfect. That means we'll be able to operate by night without anybody seeing us. By daylight, the mission would be way too risky. But with Eugenie beaming like a lighthouse, we're sure to be spotted. No! At night, everybody's in bed asleep. Come on! There's no switch, no battery compartment. This is beyond my abilities. Use this do-it-yourself electricity manual. You have the night to read it. Remember, the Nobel Prize, Vladimir! <laughs> it was much more fun being a rabbit than a bedside lamp. She's not there! Oh, no! He must have already discovered she's a wild animal. He sent her back to the forest. Stop! Stop! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Besides, lambs do not run off in the middle of the night. Isn't that right? At least we know where she is now. Alarm activated. That'll stop you from running away for sure. <laughs> What's 
got have done that. Huh. Uh, I should have listened to Miss Know-It-All. Huh? Thick! Okay, I admit the alarm was not part of the strategy, but I do have a plan B. We dig a tunnel right inside the bedroom. Forget it. You only had to take the right ventilation duct. Stop! Hey! Stop! Oh, my lap! The rabbit! My Nobel Prize! They ran away! There's a whole gag! Stop! We better hide! Say, I've never seen a street lamp with rabbit ears before. My lamp! My Nobel Prize! <laughs> that way, it's a shortcut that leads straight back to the Livingstone's house! Okay, okay. Anyone can make a mistake. Some more than others. Oh, look! There's a light in the street! Oh, no! I'm sick of being a bedside lamb. We have to conceal Eugenie so the vet doesn't see her. But Wash, if we touch Eugenie, we'll all frazzle. It's the only way, Sam. <laughs> you stopped glowing. You're right. You think I'm cured? Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> What's happening to us, Wash? When we touched Eugenie, we must have picked up the charge. In the name of the law, I arrest you. Where is my lamp? I'm sure I saw it here. No sweat. Cut them off. Wash, do you have some kind of plan to get us out of here? Maybe a better plan than last time? On the count of three, we go in for the hug. One. Two, three! Wait for me! So, what are you gonna say to Wash the Genius? I confess, it was a pretty bright idea. <laughs> Huh? Hey, you're not asleep? So tell me, if Eugenie zapped her electricity to us and we zapped it to the vet, who's he going to zap it to? Sam, the main thing is that we're all here together. All four of us, nice and warm on the Livingstone sofa. Let's get some shed eye, okay? Look, honey! Eugenie's back and she's been cured! The vet must have brought her back and was kind enough not to wake us. He really is quite something. If you want my opinion, he should be awarded the Nobel Prize. Bad news, Mr. Livingstone. Your rabbit escaped. Escaped? Not at all. She's here and she's doing great. Do congratulate Mr. Vladimir. He truly is a dazzling man. Dazzling is the right word. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I won at the Cat vs. Cat Contest, a tournament that takes place the first day of spring every year. Hey! What a coincidence! Today is the first day of spring! I get it! You're 
practicing with your ball for the tournament. <laughs> no way, never. Do you hear me? I will never participate in that contest ever again. And I never want to hear another word about it again either. Because you lost. Lost? And that, that's what? A loser's trophy, I suppose? I won it in a grueling fight to the bitter end. Whoa! Can we play with your ball? Not even in your dreams. You put one paw on it, or even so much as look at it, and I'll make sure you get a one-way ticket to the darkest corner of the darkest forest in the world! <sighs> Four, five, six, and bingo! I'm touching it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> can I touch it and look at it too? <laughs> you can look at it, but pause off. I promise. <laughs> oh. A table. Oh. We didn't do anything, Vic. We're totally innocent. <laughs> you should have seen the expression on your faces. Wow, sis, what a great imitation! Whoa! It's like so pretty! Oh, there you are! <laughs> 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 Victoria ever finds out that her trophy has disappeared, her vengeance will know no limits. She'll tell the Living Stones that we're wild animals for sure. Oh. <laughs> Meow. Louder. Meow. Uh, are you feeling okay there, Nugget? Okay. No time for small talk. You've got to rehearse if you want to be in top shape for cat versus cat. Oh, right. The tournament. Are you entering too, Washington? Nugget, must I remind you that Washington is not a cat? A cat? Say there, Fluffy. You know everything about everything. Where is the contest taking place? In no? that nearby alley. Hey, that's enough. Back to rehearsing, Nugget. I know exactly how we're going to get Victoria's ball back. We'll sign Sam up for the cat versus cat contest. What? Of course, with the strength of a wild boar, Sam will clobber all those whippy cats. He wins the tournament, we get the golden ball, replace Victoria's, and nobody's any the wiser. For sure, Sam's the strongest. Yeah, but Sam doesn't know how to fight. It doesn't matter. Just wait and see. Look at you! You look super impressive! Okay, let's test you out! Awesome! Didn't feel a thing! <laughs> What's all the ruckus? What are you supposed to be with that new costume? A pet hippo? <laughs> no, it's nothing. We're just playing. Uh, uh, Sam the trampoline! <laughs> Wanna play? I don't think so. <laughs> Losers. Phew! All you have to do, Sam, is stay in the ring, not move, and wait until your opponent tires out. Let's go to the tournament! I say, who's the strongest? The awesomest, the terribleest of all cats in the world? Yes, 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 yes. Who is gonna turn his opponents into mushy cat food? No one even dares step into the ring. You're the winner! <laughs> He's such a wimp, he won't even make it past the first round. Just do like I told you to. Take the blows and don't budge, okay? Yeah, well, I couldn't budge even if I wanted to. Make room for the ref. I'd like to remind you of the rules for the cat versus cat contest. You each take turns fighting, and it is strictly forbidden to touch your opponent. Yeah! Quiet! The first one who makes a noise is out of here. And don't forget, I know each and all of your little secrets. All right, then. Like last year, the winner is the one who makes the most intimidating meow. Oh, no! It's a meowing duel, not a boxing match? We're goners! Sam can't meow to save his life. And the first meow goes to... Scrawny! 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 Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Look, 
looks like Scrawny is suffering from a handicap that all you cats know only too well. A major hairball crisis. Maddox! And the winner of the first round by default is Sam! Yeah! We won! The golden ball is all ours! Yeah! That was only the first round. Besides, we were lucky. Sam cannot meow! <laughs> Why do you like me? Meow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna concentrate on your meowing. Repeat after me. Meow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, seriously, it's not that difficult to do. <laughs> Whoa, now that's what we need. Did you hear that, Sam? Susie could take Sam's place in the tournament. <gasps> Why, of course! Susie, do you read me? Ready? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. I'm ready. <laughs> With a meow like that, we're going to win that golden ball hands down. I mean, really, Nugget, is this a good time for you to be eating? The tournament isn't over yet. I need a protein booster if I'm going to win the cat versus cat final. Okay, true, I'm battling that loser Sam in the final, but I'm going to walk all over him. Huh? Sam? In the cat versus cat tournament? What in the world is going on here? Trying to say something? <laughs> it's not working! Hey, Susie, what's going on in there? It's not my fault! Sam closes his mouth every time I meow! You want Susie to meow, paw on chest, okay? <laughs> Get it over with and give up, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Team that I coached with my brilliant strategy. Yeah! For the final, I only got one thing to say. Sam, just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change anything. Susie, really let go! Be generous with your voice. Go for the biggest meow ever! Huh? The for the last round of Cat vs. Cat or the rain. We're gonna win for sure! <laughs> Everything's going to go great. There's no way you can lose against that fat potato brain, Sam. And Sam opens the battle. Sam! 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 I get it. You want me to start, is that it? So that you'll get the last meow? Sure, why not? Time out! Time out! Seconds timeout. We got a major problem. Susie has lost her voice. She can't meow. What are we gonna do, Wash? Victoria is never gonna forgive us. Where's my golden ball? Hey, Victoria, can't you see that we're in the middle of the final that I'm about to win? <laughs> uh, let me explain. You see, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Incredible! For the second consecutive year, Victoria has won the Cat vs. Cat Contest! <laughs> big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! That was one close call, guys. Uh, Victoria, 
Uh, <laughs> really, it's uh, not at all what you think, believe me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>